Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about dish plots in Seaborn. Dish plots in Seaborn are made up of three separate plots. One is the KDE plot. We will learn about KDE plot in a later video. And the second one is a normal histogram. And the third one is a rug plot. A rug plot is so called because it looks like a rug or a blanket. Dish plots are also known as distribution plots. Unlike matplotlib, where we have three different plots for the rug plot histogram and the KDE plot. In Seaborn, we have all these three in one single plot, which is the distribution plot. Distribution plots are very, very important in exploratory data analysis and are used in most of the projects. Now, without further ado, let us start coding interesting and beautiful looking plots in Seaborn. The first thing that we are going to do is import the necessary libraries. Here, I've imported the NumPy Seaborn uh, matplotlib.pyplot plot and the pandas library with their respective aliases. For the sake of this tutorial, we are going to use the penguins dataset which comes inbuilt with the Seaborn library. Uh, so to load the penguins dataset, I have used the load dataset function of Seaborn and I've taken a sneak peek at the dataset using the head function of pandas. Now let us draw a simple dish plot uh, in Seaborn. We can do this using the dish plot function and specify the column name. So let me specify penguins dot flipper length uh, mm as one of the columns and now if i execute the cell you can see that we get this plot in this dish plot we can see the kde plot and the histogram but we cannot see the rug plot in order to activate or enable the rug plot we'll have to use rug is equal to true parameter and now you can see that we get all the three plots we can also remove one or more plots from the dish plot by uh, using uh, the following parameters. So first let me copy this, paste it over here. Let us remove rug is, rug is equal to true and let's say KD is equal to false. Now you can see that our KD plot disappears. We can also specify hist is equal to false. Now we get only the KDE plot. The next thing we can uh, do is we can also set the number of bins to whichever value that we like. By default, the number of bins in histogram is um, 10, but we can also specify it to 12, 15, 20 or depending upon the data. So again, let me copy this and let us remove rug is equal to true. And I'll set the bins as let's say 20. Now you can see that we get 20 bins in our plot. You can also set the different values for, for the bins as an array. This is also very simple to do. Let me copy this and here we can set it to something like uh, 160, 170, 180, 190, then let's say 200 and 240. Now we can see that we get uh, the bin values as the ones that we have specified in the array. I do not recommend this because uh, Seabone by default gives the perfect number of bins that is 10 and the number of values depending upon how they appear in the columns. So you can better stick to the default values which are provided by Seabone. And the next thing that we can do is change the dis distribution of the values which are present in a particular column using the norm hist parameter. So we copy this and let us, let us remove this and specify norm hist is equal to true. Okay, now you can see that our histogram has become somewhat like a normal distribution. Let me give you some more clarity by removing the KDA plot from here. And now you can see that it's become somewhat like a normal distribution. I do not recommend this because uh, this normish parameter does not work for all datasets and sometimes it may also be wrong. Okay, the next thing that we are going to look is styling each of the plots, that is the rug plots, histograms, and the KDE plots. This is quite simple to do. Let me show you with an example. Okay, let me zoom in. Uh, we can specify rug underscore k 
KWS is equal to a dictionary. Here KWS stands for keywords. Uh, it basically allows us to specify the styling for particular subplots that like rough plot, histograms or KDE plots in Seaborn or uh, plot. We can specify the color over here as let's say red and you can also specify the height of our luck plot as um, 0 0.30 okay one thing which we have to do is enable our rug plot by using rug is equal to true parameter and now you can see that we get our rug plot with a height of 0 0.30 relative units and its color is red you can specify any number of parameters in dictionaries inside the rug underscore kws parameter i will have a link to the proper documentation of rug plots and the other plots as well in the description box uh, you can explore those and do trial and error on this data set or any other data set okay the next thing we can uh, do is we can also style our histograms so let me just copy this itself and paste it let us remove the rug plot as well as the rug underscore kws and as you may have guessed we can use hist underscore kws to style our um, histograms and inside dictionary we can specify the color now let's specify it as mm, blue and we can also specify the alpha value which sets the hue and saturation of the color so let me specify the alpha value as 0.3 for example and the last thing we can also specify is the type of histogram that we want so we can do this using hish type and there are a lot of attributes for this parameter here we are going to use um, step uh, parameter now you can see that okay the other thing i'm going to do is initiate the kw kde plot to false so that we'll get a better uh, visualization of our histogram okay now you can see that uh, since we have specified hist type equal to step all the color from the histogram disappears so we don't have any fill color inside the histograms and this histogram looks like kind of like a step we can also specify uh, step field over here now you can see that all the color returns back you can play around with the alpha value to the color which you want so let me specify 0 0.6 and now you can see that it becomes a dark blue kind of color and if you decrease it even further we get a light blue or uh, purple color and the last thing that we are going to do is uh, style our KDE plots as well so this is also quite similar to the others with one or two changes specify KDE is equal to true remove all of this and hist is equal to false and as you may have guessed again we can change the styling of the particular plot using KDE underscore KWS is equal to and in the dictionary you can specify different values so the first thing that we can do is specify the color let me keep it as red and here we can also specify the line width of the kde plot so you can do this by using lw parameter and set it to something like 0. Point, let's say 2.5 would be good and okay you can also specify the alpha value for the particular color specify it as 0 0.4 now you can see that we get a red kde plot with slightly thicker line width as compared to the default value we can also increase this to something like 4.0 uh, and now you can see that it increases further i use this very often in my projects uh, to clearly path the kde plot and the alpha value can also be tweaked like I mentioned for the histograms as well. So let's specify 0 0.9 and now we get a dark red sort of color. Now let's come to the most interesting part of this video that is the exercises. I have a link to this readme file in the description box below. I request you to please solve these questions for at least 2-3 to three hours before seeing the solutions because 
solving questions and uh, working on sample data sets is the only way to get better at visualization in the next video we will be talking about box plots in cb